Back acne, commonly known as jungle acne or backlin, is pretty common amongst most people in today's time. Now, back acne is typically acne, that is pimples, whiteheads, blackheads or painful big cysts that form anywhere on the back, shoulders or chest area. This can even run down to your buttock area as well. Now we know that acne is formed because of a clogging of your pore with an accumulation of dead skin cells, bacteria and fungus that leads to a pimple formation. So today, let's deep dive into back acne, what causes it and what are the remedies for it. Hi, I'm Dr. Natasha, a board certified MD Dermatologist and today I'm excited to share with you a few tips and tricks for back acne. So let's start off with understanding what causes back acne. Now for starters, we have a lot of hair follicles which are present on our back. And also here the follicles are a little larger in size, so your pore size is larger. So you know if you get a pimple or a whitehead or a blackhead in that area, most likely it's going to be bigger than the ones that appear on the face. Now understanding the triggers for back acne is a little complex because it might not just be one trigger and mostly just you know an amalgamation of various other triggers as well. So the most common thing is one is keeping an unhygienic routine. So take a shower as soon as you come back home uh, from either a workout or from a heavy day of work or if you've been sweating too much or you live in a hot and humid environment then make sure that you're washing yourself and cleansing yourself at the end of the day. Why is this important? Because when there is a sweat accumulation on the back, that coupled with the friction and the large pore size increases the tendency for a pimple formation there because it increases bacterial load. The second cause would be increased sweating or if you're someone who sweats a lot. The increased sweating, that with a clogged pore, creates a beautiful background or you know an environment for the bacteria to breed, thus causing irritation and an acne formation. Third, Hormonal imbalances or hormonal changes, this triggers semen production, oil production and in return, acne triggers in your back area. Fourth, diet, very very important, dairy, dairy products and especially whey protein. So I'm seeing a lot of boys coming in in their teenage years or in their 20s and 30s who started whey protein and that's triggered their acne. Why does this happen? Dairy or animal milk contains um, various you know, nutrients which are present in them, various hormones that are present in them. But when we as humans ingest it and if we have a tendency, what happens is the body increases the IGF levels in our body. That in turn triggers more oil production and in return you're going to get an acne or pimple in that area. Other than this, you know, if you have a genetic predisposition, so if your parents had back acne, the chance of you getting back acne is also there. Various medications can also trigger back acne, so be careful about that. If you're on certain medications recently and that's triggered your back acne, then that's a good idea to go back and look at what could be triggering it. Then comes friction from clothes or you know your backpacks. So if you're wearing a backpack or you're wearing tight-fitting clothes that's not cotton, so synthetic fabrics, that in turn irritates the skin and can trigger your back acne as well. And last but not least, stress. Stress is known to increase oil production, sebum production, sweating that in return favours acne formation on the back, shoulders and chest. Now let's understand how can we prevent it and manage back acne and when is the time to go and seek medical care. So now when we discuss the preventive factors, one, concentrate on your diet. Try to omit dairy, whey protein and other dairy products. Reduce your sugar, maida, processed food intake. That in return will help with your back acne. Some lifestyle changes. If you're someone who sweats a lot or if you're going out for a workout, come back home and immediately take a shower so that you're walking or you're washing off all that bacteria and sweat from your back. Other than that, try wearing cotton clothes or try wearing a cotton lining like a ganji or a spaghetti or an innerwear inside your synthetic top so that it doesn't cause any friction. Last but not least, wearing loose cotton clothing will help a lot because it's more breathable and that would reduce the chance of you getting back acne. Now coming to managing your back acne. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid oil soluble so it's going to enter your pore, dissolve all the dead skin debris and the oil buildup 
and cleanse your pore. It works also excellently in exfoliating more than 10 skin off. So salicylic acid works beautifully again if you are suffering with back acne. Higher concentrations of salicylic acid works beautifully again in clinic treatments like chemical peels, back acne facials, microdermabrasion that incorporate salicylic acid in higher concentrations works beautifully. Second, retinoids. We know retinoids reduce acne formation, reduces pimples, reduces oil production, increases cell turnover and exfoliates all the dead skin and hence can be used if you have back acne as well. And other of my, one of my favorite ingredients is benzyl peroxide. Now benzyl peroxide works beautifully because it's an anti-inflammatory and an antibacterial agent. So it reduces the bacterial load. You can either use it as a gel or cream or a spray, but I prefer if you have back acne, use it as a soap while taking a bath. So use it as a soap, massage it nicely into your back, leave it on for about five minutes and then wash it off. It works beautifully, especially for those big painful inflammatory acne that happen on the back. Glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is an AHA so again here it works beautifully by exfoliating on the dead skin but for back acne it works well in treating the pigmentation that all these pimples leave behind. So using low concentrations will help but if you need higher concentrations please go to see your dermatologist. The end point is if you're someone suffering with back acne or you know someone suffering with back acne, it's just not one treatment that will solve all. Concentrating on your diet and lifestyle and preventing that acne from forming is key here. But if you're someone with back acne, you can incorporate benzyl peroxide, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and works matters. If your acne is more severe or it's not, you know, being controlled by just using topical agents, Please go see your dermatologist to understand the root cause and get appropriate treatment so that that back acne doesn't leave scarring at the end of the day.